Hi all, I have another fascinating game to show you. This is Leela playing white against Stockfish, the mighty Stockfish playing black in this game in the Chesscom Rapid Redux Stage 3, 30 minutes with a 5 second increment. The opening given d4, d5, the solid Slav defense, and the early exchange variation. Here is the end of the book. Stockfish plays knight c6, we see bishop f4. And now a very aggressive dynamic move from, from Stockfish already. Can you guess what Stockfish played here? If I give you five seconds. So this is out of the book. We have the move e5, very, very interesting move. I played a similar e5 uh, gambit idea myself. Uh, there's an over the board game. The title uh, is uh, Chess Openings Colon, <laughs> Slav Defense Exchange Variation Gambit Exclamation Mark. If you want to look that up. Uh, but that was earlier, I played it, it was a bit earlier, e5, but there's a similar sort of idea, some, some of the similar themes. Bishop takes e5 was played. If d takes, then d4 is interesting. For example, knight e4, bishop f5, black gets a lot of good piece development and pressure. And this just seems to be an even position, for example. Uh, here, if knight b1, black can play superly, um, superly, super aggressive with g5 h5 uh, bishop e6 and then even knight h6 to f5 to hit that bishop on g3 and actually this is really really good stuff for black white is really held in here with this d4 pawn it's very uncomfortable black has a big advantage there so there's a lot of dangers lurking on d takes e5 so bishop takes e5 was played by Leela. Uh we see knight takes e5 d takes d4 Knight e4, bishop b4 check, and it looks like a nasty pin, knight d2, knight e7, knight gf3, black castle. So black is ahead in developments and has already castled. a3, bishop a5. It seems here that this might be an opportunity for Leela to play perhaps the more careful looking move b4 to remove this pin immediately in this position to ask the bishop politely to go back for example this continuation why it can give up that pawn it seems okay uh, it should be about even why it's got some interesting light square control so it's not all bad for white here now i'm not sure why b4, b4 wasn't uh, played uh, so even here, it's important to be really calculating variations just in case, to be on the safe side, uh, to know the dangers in advance. So this move, b4, it wasn't played, breaking the pin immediately. Um, there, there is a little bit of concern about the hardware change, which should have been in leader's favour, but I do wonder if changing hardware during a tournament round perhaps should be avoided just in case there are driver issues I'm just a bit concerned about such things from a scientific point of view changing the variables of an experiment uh, without even sort of you know because it's like an exper a scientific experiment and this does concern me b4 wasn't played myself we have the move g3 and in fact stockfish now has a great resource in this position uh, which seems really, really dangerous indeed. And that is knight d5 here. Yeah, this move, knight d5. Now, if white plays knight takes d4 here, black has queen b6. This is a really strong interesting move hitting b2 and d4 and if here maybe black can just simply take there on d2 so if queen takes queen takes b3 and if knight takes then queen takes b2 black's at least equal so it seems there's no real uh advantage to be gained from knight takes d4 in this position uh by the way knight d5 seems to be a, a novelty move that has been a high level only one though high level game with bishop g4 uh, a 26.30 Fido, oh no, 2600 Fido rate player, Prohaska, 
played against Caravada in the Abu Dhabi uh, 2015 tournament. And after Bishop G4, they eventually had a draw in uh, 57 moves. So the player with black didn't maybe consider knight d5 as being dangerous, maybe because of knight takes d4, possibly. Uh, so knight d5 here, and we see queen b3, actually. It is a little bit of a concern, this move, queen b3, because now the unpinning resource b4, for example, is taken out of the equation. Uh, the queen's in front of the b-pawn. And in fact, Stockfish has a very naughty-looking move available in this position. I wonder if you can guess what Stockfish played here. If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Black to play. Okay. Knight c3 was played, yeah. This looks really dangerous. Queen c2 was the response. If we look at this, if b takes, d takes, say knight e4, c2 check, and now bishop f5, and in fact this pawn is really dangerous. After rook c1, uh, the knight is kind of loose if, if white castles, and if white plays rook c1, queen d7, White consoles here, bishop takes, and this is going to be nice for black, that protected pass pawn, big advantage. Uh, if we look at this line again, uh, so c2 check, and have a look at another variation. Instead of castling, which loses d2, what if white played e3, you might ask? Bishop e6, and then queen d3, black has a lot of stuff going on here after queen takes here for example and then rook fd8 skewers the queen and knight so black's going to end up still with that protected pass pawn with a big advantage so very very interesting stuff on taking it unleashes the power of discovered checks creates a pass pawn etc so queen c2 was played we have bishop e6 it's actually here that b takes is played if it isn't the knight's just sitting <laughs> around for knight takes e2 uh, say you know white played bishop g2 then black for example can even play this and if here's check and then take the queen so it's not very advisable to leave the knight now it is actually um, after bishop e6 it's taken uh, so we have d takes c3 knight e4 Queen b6, and now some new possibilities like queen b2 have emerged. Lila uses uh, this knight again, so without development, uh, this looks pretty dangerous thing to do. Very, very dangerous. On bishop g2, you might ask, let's have a look at the power of queen b2. Queen c1, bishop f5, knight d6, c2 check, discover check. And here, actually, bishop c3 is very strong. For example, taking, uh, and now this, that pass pawn is extremely strong. So black's in the driving seat there, going to be material up after. Uh, so if 17, in this, in this line, instead of knight fg5, or bishop g2, sorry, instead of bishop g2, knight takes c3. This is just asking simply for this pin to be celebrated big advantage so uh very tricky position already uh rook fd8 so black is fully mobilized it's like black is paul morphy against a bunny <laughs> or something unfortunately uh for leela fans on this occasion we can only uh wonder what happens here in this game uh but it is a rapid time control uh, bishop h3 was played Bishop b3, trying to lift this discovered check possibility. Lila tries knight f6 check. Yes, knight f6 check was tried. Uh, it's pretty horrible to allow c2 check and rook d1, etc. Uh, so uh, knight f6 check, king f8. In fact, taking was also possible, even if the queen visits over here. Uh, the bishop is holding f7 so it's not checkmate or anything 
And in fact, for example, like this, it's still a disaster for white. So uh, King F8, though, even stronger. Queen takes now Rook D1 check, forcing this discovered check. And now C takes D1, queening with check. Yes, this is why I have it from the black perspective. <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare game. I don't want to give you nightmares about this game. So you're seeing it from the black perspective. Bishop D5 check. Knight takes, queen takes D5 check. So yes, there is an extra queen for black here. Yes, queen h6, the queen drops back. Rook d8, bishop f5, queen b6, queen g1, queen b2, h4, queen takes e2, hitting f3. Yep, bishop g4, queen e4, this one to e4, hitting g4. Now queen f5, there's no, so if g4, queen take, any queen takes f3, queen c1. Queen takes h5, king f1. The end is going to be over pretty soon. Check, mate. Pretty crushing stuff. I think it is important to show Leela losing as well as winning, uh, just for a, a more balanced picture, a more overall perspective on things as as they're as they are evolving. I'm pretty sure Leela will evolve uh, more tactically. And also, just from a tournament perspective, I think all the tournament organisers are continually learning because the neural networks are new stuff that require special treatments in terms of hardware uh, with the graphics cards, graphic card drivers, other stuff, all the configuration stuff. So there's there's other you know technical concerns as well around the games, as well as the evolution of the neural network itself, how fast the, the Monte Carlo tree search uh, and effectively that is working too but it hit here it seems we witness a major tactical disaster in the opening it does seem on my brief analysis the early b4 might have averted much of the disastrous uh implications okay but uh i hope you enjoyed this game anyway from a sort of tactical perspective uh the power of forcing moves and opening up discovered checks etc so if you enjoyed this game video please click on the top left box become a member at chessbowl.net play against other youtubers you can also check the youtube analysis in advance of these games from the improved menu learn from the masters youtube order button comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe win a notification bell really appreciate it and also check out the new teespring store in the description and channel memberships are now available so you can become uh, a mem you get a perk of a full membership month at chessworld.net so you can export all the pgn analysis the annotate pgn for example that over the last few months incredible benefits there thanks very much